Good morning, everybody. Cheyenne and Tyler here, and we're here to do some fishing up here at 10.7 thousand feet. So as you saw in last week's video, we caught nothing but rainbow trout out of the Roaring Fork River. So today we're hoping to switch that up. Um, there's rainbow trout in here, but there's cutthroat trout in here. There's cut bow trout in here. There's brook trout, there's splake. There's white sucker in here too. Hoping to get something else besides rainbows. We're also gonna be switching it up a little bit today. We'll be using some dynamic lure stuff, but I haven't fly fished in over a month and I'm gonna be really focusing on that most of the morning. So. Cheyenne will probably be doing some Pete's Custom Trout Worm stuff, but you'll see what we did this morning because we got here way earlier. Um, just after the first light bite, um, intro we did was pretty terrible, so <laughs> we decided to redo it here at the end, and um, yeah. So hope you guys enjoy the fishing, and stay tuned. I'm going to be starting with the Fire Tiger Micro Minnow. Everybody knows how much I love my Pete's Worms. A little chilly, a little chillier than I'd like. I'm on already. Oh, I lost it. Shoot. They're tugging like crazy. There's one. Oh, I lost it again. Yeah, they're tugging like crazy over there. Oh, he bit my tail off. Oh. This is going to be one of those days. But Oh, the good news is I'm going to catch one. Shans is doing some casting. Got my little... Giga Pump 2.0. Coach Tanner actually got me that over a year ago. And that thing is convenient. It's good to sit here and let this thing blow up itself. But Cheyenne says she's getting a lot of action on the, uh, on the trout worms. So hopefully she can get one in here soon. Heard a lot of rises. Hopefully I have the right idea with the hopper dropper setup. I'm thinking I should be double nymph rigging an indicator, but or even triple nymph rigging, but with all the rises, I mean I'm thinking I should be able to get something. Alright guys, so I decided to switch a little bit and I put on the version two and I got one. Good grief. A little rainbow. All right. First fish of the day. This pretty rainbow. Water's pretty clear, guys. I don't know if you can see that. There he is. Cool. Oop, I had a tug. Ooh. They're here and they like these. All right, so version two is going to be a hit today. Not again. Yeah? Yeah. Oof. Oop. Oh dear. All right. Oof. <laughs> and he popped out too. Okay. I like it. Ooh, he's a spicy one. A little bigger. A little bigger, a little better. Another little rainbow. There we go. <laughs> yep. Oh no. Oh no. He's tangled himself good. Oh no. Oh no, he got the front treble in his tail. Oh, there he goes. Oh, oh. oh. Man. <laughs> He's mad. Oh, God. Bro. I'm catching some spicy trout. Ooh. This one's a little guy. Ooh, stop, stop. Just a little bitty guy. A little bitty guy. exciting. Maybe I'll leave my GoPro running for a minute. So maybe you can actually see a hook set today. <laughs> I'm just glad to be catching fish today. It's been a, I'm, I don't know if any of you guys can relate. It's been a really strange summer. The weather's been weird. 
as as soggy as it's been in in junction it's been humid as heck we've had a lot of rain but it, we're still dry the bone somehow i don't i'm not quite sure how that works made mess me up mess fish up so hopefully we can get back to some normal fall fishing that would be nice so cheyenne's over there slaying it I really was hoping to get something going on the fly gear this morning, but I've gotten one little bite. So I was using that green drake and that scud earlier. I switched to a big Chernobyl um, grasshopper, just so I can see. I'm not expecting that to get bit much, but I'm trying to cast pretty far and I can't see um, with just that regular dry fly. Oh, got one. Oh, that was a good timing. Switched to a size 20 Rainbow Warrior, and then I had the size 18 Scud Trail in that. The Rainbow Warrior is about two and a half, three feet down. And then I got a Scud about a foot and a half behind that. Pretty sure he's on the Rainbow Warrior though. Just a general winner. Oh, oh just got one. Nice, Cheyenne's on again. So Cheyenne's up on me, four to one right now. Okay, that one kind of snuck up on me. I did not see that one nor feel it. <laughs> it's being difficult. <laughs> difficult. I've had more lake water in my mouth today. There, feisty guy. Feisty little monster. Yeesh. Wouldn't be a video, especially in the warmer months without me catching a fish and having the battery go dead. Nice steady reel, a little bit of a little bit of twitching. Seems to be doing the trick today. Oh, sorry. I missed it. I missed it. Tyler caught one and then I caught one. <laughs> Yay. No skunks today. Ooh, had a bite. I could pass out out here. It's so relaxing. I haven't talked much about water visibility, but it's super clear. You can probably see about 10 feet down at least. Might have to come and switch to an HD. I'm getting my ass kicked. Ooh, got one. Oh no, he popped off. Yeah, he popped off. It was a little rainbow. It wasn't anything crazy. That was sweet. As soon as I was talking about getting my butt kicked, I got one. Oh man, come on. Yep. Oh no! Yeah, I let it go too loose. That was sweet though. Right where the sun is, beaming into the into the water, you could I could see like four or five of them swirling around my fly, and they one of them nailed the nymph. Ooh, got one. Yeah. Yeah. Rainbow Warrior. It's been killing it for me. It's my, my comeback fly right now. Little guy, but it's a pretty guy. Really pretty markings. So here's a close-up of what I've actually been throwing. Here's that giant size 10 
Chernobyl grasshopper. Again, I'm just really using that as an indicator. Was pretty surprised earlier to get a bite on that. Um, and then about three feet down, maybe about three and a half, got that size 20 rainbow warrior, maybe size 18. Nice and flashy. And I got that tied on and terminated here at the end of my hopper dropper. Got a scud on that. Green olive scud. Oh no. Well, we're just gonna cut that and call it a day. Oh my gosh, you guys, I just failed so bad. <laughs> oh no. We're getting ready to leave and I feel a tug on my line and it's definitely not a fish. I caught a sucker. <laughs> Look at that mess. One cast did that. I didn't even try to <laughs> It j and I, you, you got, man, this is an award winner right here. All right, well, I definitely missed a few. <laughs> I think we both did, but I definitely missed a, more than I think I landed. But it was still a pretty fun morning. Um, a little bit grinder than we expected, but it was good to at least get into some fish. Um, Finally. Holy yeah, shit. It's, <laughs> I haven't fly fished since uh, late July, so I kind of felt good to do some fly fishing. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed the video, though, up here at 10.6K, uh, 10.7K. It should be fall up here soon, so hoping that the fall bite starts turning on and hoping that for everybody around the state because it's been a kind of a crazy late summer. But I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Hit the like button if you did. Subscribe if you're new. And until next time, you guys, Team Cough signing out.